Hello and welcome to Purple Hats. Uh, very happy to be here. My name is John Boyle. I'm a senior strategist for cybersecurity and supply chain security at Dell in the uh, client solutions group and product management. And today I'm going to be uh, spend a little bit of time talking about modern threat hunting and defending our physical and digital supply chains. Um, as we all know, these past couple of years, um, you know, there's been a, a not only a growth in digital connectivity and the reliance of uh, of you know systems that are all joined together and in our in our businesses in our world, but with that also becomes uh, the threats that that are emerging. And whether it's the complexities of our cyber environments, you know, the hardware threats being targeted, our supply chain in our organizations, software threats as we call digital supply chain or the regulations, uh, regulation risk, there's a lot of emerging threats that are impacting um, organizations around the world. And specifically, we're gonna draw attention to an, an area that a lot of people are, are, are talking about more and more, but in the past hasn't always been highlighted, and that's the supply chain. So supply chain attacks are on the rise. And I have a couple of examples here today to think about your know, supply chain. We all know about um, the solar winds attack where you know this was accessed digitally to a, uh, this digital supply chain, such as um, pushing patches and pushing certified or, or um, authenticated software to customers, and that was compromised. We have you know attacks on uh, ransomware for supplier from Apple. We ha even have people taking stickers off of components that say "Made in China" and putting "Made in USA" on them. So attacks in supply chains come in, in many different forms. But one thing is that we're all used to thinking about the supply chain as being more of the physical supply chain. We kind of close our eyes and we probably are seeing a plane, a ship, a train, or a truck. And that's what we all think about with, with supply moving around the world. But in today's age, in today's you know, cybersecurity um, conversations, we need to think about the digital supply chain as well. The way we develop software, the way we have our systems in place to move those products around uh, as far as the computer systems, the patches, the licensing, uh, the updates, things that get pushed digitally uh, to the cloud or to customer sites um, that need to be protected as well. And so one of the things that we see a lot of is that the executive orders around the world, and I'm highlighting one from the United States government, is that we are focusing on protecting the supply chain as part of our cybersecurity efforts. And so we talk about uh, discussions today at Purple Hat and we talk about being preventative and proactive. Um, one of the things we'll talk about is how we define the supply chain at Dell and how we address um, securing our supply chain in many ways, um, even before a system will ship out uh, to customers and we deliver digital uh, parts of that solution through um, secure digital delivery. Um, and so we'll go through a few of the uh, things that we're seeing in the industry, some of the security uh, events that are happening and try to get you to think about supply chain in a different way, whether you have a supply chain to protect and defend yourself, or whether you're working with vendors that you need to have certain requirements about to understand like that they have a secure supply chain and what they're supplying you. So first of all, we talk about supply chain and we talk about defending um, you know, critical parts of, of infrastructure around the world. You know, one thing we always talk about is, is defending critical infrastructure. And that could be supply chains coming from food and grocery, the energy supply chain, banking and finance, the healthcare, water, communications, uh, technology. Supply chains are very diverse around the world, and it's not always just the truck full of food coming to the grocery store. But one thing is, is that we've seen in the past few years is that when supply chains are compromised, um, there's tremendous impact, but also it shows us how ephemeral supply chains can be. So one of the things that we see with the, uh, the new executive orders is uh, governments leaning into um, regulations and requirements and resources to help the private sector shore up the critical infrastructure cybersecurity. And this is where the, the, the purple teaming comes into play. We'll talk about that in a little bit. One of the things that I always get asked in, every week in customer conversations and discussions is, am I a target? And I made a very simple slide to kind of just show, well, who's a target? And the fact is everybody's a target. What we're seeing is that it doesn't matter if you're big or small, uh, if you are in this segment or that segment, if you're this part of the world or that part of the world, um, everybody's a target because the world is so interconnected that um, some targets are softer, some targets are connected to bigger targets. We call that island hopping. 
And so everybody needs to be vigilant. And that's why the governments around the world are putting in resources to help shore up mid-market uh, sled or, or state local government education type of targets. Uh, nonprofits are looking at their posture. Or traditionally, we always think that we need to protect the big targets. We know that there's been a lot of attacks in the past, and we're always aware of the fact that there's a financial impact and there's an impact to data. But what I like to draw on is that um, there's also another impact that, that we at Dell and, and our team likes to impress upon customers and prospects and our partners. And that's the fact that um, we have a healthcare example here where lives are being impacted. We see that uh, when we have a compromise of the supply chains or compromise of a particular sector like healthcare, that care slows down and people are impacted. And so one of the things we all have to remember is that when we are looking at ways to shore up and defend um, our, our systems and our ecosystems, we call security ecosystems, that um, we are really protecting lives. And in this sense, you see some really awful examples, quite honestly, where um, ransomware uh, attacks have happened, systems have been shut down, and you have people impacted as far as their cancer care, um, records are, are not available, surgeries have to be canceled. You know, one of the unfortunate recent uh, examples that came out in the news was that a NICU was, was compromised uh, or impacted because of an attack. And so what I always like to draw attention to, in addition to the financial and the data uh, impacts, is that our lives are impacted. People around the world in the global community are at risk because of these attacks. And so everything we learn at Purple Hats this week and the ongoing conversation needs to happen is how do we proactively defend all areas that are attack vectors uh, to keep the posture solid and in place and updated and one step ahead of the, the attackers, whether they're nation states or just well-funded mercenaries, um, they're looking to get at anything that's gonna produce a result for them, which is revenue or money, ransom, whatever. So how do we think of the supply chain? It's interesting because again, I talk about supply chain being uh, physical and people, a lot of people think about that. So when I bring this slide up, it's kind of an aha moment for a lot of people I speak with because we talk about at Dell in this example, we use our supply chain. We talk about the hardware integrity, the physical aspects of the systems that we produce, uh, whether it's the motherboards, the the components um, inside the peripherals, all that are the traditional physical components of the supply chain. But we also have the digital components like the firmware, the BIOS, the software, things that we have to protect as far as how they're engineered, how they're tested, how they're delivered, um, how they're protected, so that every part of the supply chain from the manufacturing uh, and sourcing the parts to the assembly and customizations that we do for a lot of customers, through the shipping and delivery when it leaves our docs and it's in motion to the customer sites and also through the entire end user life cycle. All of that is the supply chain that our, it's what Dell protects uh, from start to finish. And so things like um, the systems in the factories or the machines that we use for, for development or the cloud um, architecture that we have, all of those are part of our digital supply chain and physical supply chain and we talk about the, the preventative measures of going through and doing things like pen testing, security training, breach simulations, security audits. Those are all proactive and preventative measures that we use in our supply chain uh, to make sure that we are one step ahead of any, any attackers. You, also in the supply chain, we have things like secure component verification, you know, ways to verify digitally that this component is authentic from Dell and that it is um, as it's supposed to be. It hasn't been compromised, nothing's been added. Um, it hasn't been swapped out. Um, we also go through and do the same type of validation and um, simulation and audits uh, with partners to make sure that they are uh, up to par as far as their supply chains and what they're providing Dell. In our assembly and customization, some of the things that we, we focus on are the physical and digital verifications. So proactively verifying that something like the BIOS is uh, as it's supposed to be, as it travels from manufacturing to assembly and customization and eventually out the door, and also providing those tools to customers so they can proactively uh, check things uh, on the systems as well. Uh, very important to make sure that when you do those simulations and the security audits and, and pen testing, that data is obfuscated from view that does not need to be seen by everybody. And so we call that PII. 
uh, the personal information. So when you are thinking about defending your supply chain or what you do, you know, what information do people need to have access to? Um, is there an opportunity to compromise that, that information, you know, sensitive customer data? And so obfuscation of data is very important as part of that proactive and preventative uh, security assessment. And then shipping and delivery, you know, making sure that we have those tamper evident uh, measures and then the secure chain of custody, whether they be through digital uh, motions, um, solutions, physical um, uh, things that we put on the, uh, the shipping containers or on the systems themselves or the way that we lock them down through the BIOS. Um, all of those things we want to do uh, proactively for customers so that when the systems get to them for the entire life cycle, they've got a secure supply chain of the updates and patches and parts that are authenticated Dell and then all the way through the point where we just recycle those, those computers for them and uh, retire them securely, um, we have those systems in place. But just having those systems in place to the point of why we're here today is not good enough because um, in this example of supply chain, we want again to make sure that the measures we have in place, the systems, uh, the physical security, the people working on those systems, uh, the digital aspects, and again, the physical aspects are always proactively uh, tested uh, for any vulnerabilities. Because as my dad says, and he's a healthcare, he's in healthcare, he's an executive in healthcare, is that, um, you know, we go to the doctor as a preventative medical visit or for our annual visit. The preventative visit is much more inexpensive than the major medical. And when you put that type of uh, analogy into place with regards to um, taking a preventative approach with a company like Attack IQ and the solution they provide uh, for something like supply chain uh, systems, whether it's digital or physical, um, doing that approach up front is going to be uh, much more cost efficient than not doing that and having a compromise. We see a lot of those compromises costing companies billions of dollars uh, just to get their data back. Uh, and you cannot put a price on on human human lives that are impacted as well. So one of the things that um, uh, we offer today as far as uh, just further reading uh, in this session is that um, I also offer some some white papers we have. Uh, we have an in-depth uh, paper on supply chain security that you can download along with some other um, pa white papers on how we um, secure the, the BIOS and do the digital security as far as that part of the supply chain. And then validating the integrity of computing devices, which is a different um, uh, white paper that we worked with uh, National Institute of Standards and Technology on, uh, on overall supply chain assurance. Um, what I will say is that um, the supply chain is something that's kind of a nuanced idea that a lot of people really don't think about, but, uh, but the attackers we see are focusing what we call upstream before products get out the door. And uh, they're, they're finding that that might be a successful way to shut down businesses um, and impact society and, and hold us ransom uh, through, through their targeted attacks. And so the more preventative and prescriptive we can all be uh, with solutions like Attack IQ uh, to ensure that we are finding any gaps and plugging those gaps as rapidly as things evolve, uh, the better. And that is, that is the mission that we all should be uh, attending to. Finally, um, I will say this, is that in this whole cybersecurity uh, evolution, one of the things that's really important in a lot of these critical infrastructure segments is uh, compliance and the uh, ability to follow the regulations and also be able to report on the fact that you've done your due diligence to uh, attend to any of the gaps or any of the assessments so that um, per some of the new federal laws, um, you can show that um, you've gone through those steps. And that's another great reason to, to have a solution like Attack IQ. So uh, thank you for joining us for this very brief uh, session on supply chain. And uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions. I'm always here and available as a, as a partner in the cybersecurity um, community. And thanks for having me.